still hanging in there. I'm over here at the at a booth. Uh, these are new uh, innovative companies that just started up like in the last year or so. And this one's called Modular Robotics. One of the things I mentioned is that I'm very interested in seeing what's going on with robotics because I teach robotics to uh, young people and students. So let's see what they've got. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Step up. Don't be shy. Push these guys aside. They've been here a while. Tell me, tell me what, what we got going. So what we got going here is uh, we want kids to build robots. We want kids to, right. be able to build robots. I, I teach robotics, a, but, right, so but, we want but Legos are really expensive. Yeah, well, these are real expensive, too. They are? Okay. Say. But we want to lower the barrier to entry so that you don't have to first start a program and wire things up. You can just start building things. So we've had kids as young as four, five, and six okay. snapping blocks together. So okay. Is kids snap the blocks together to build robots. Well, the robot is as simple as a power block, a sensor block, and an action block. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, you got a robot. So within two minutes, within two seconds, it gets built. This one's kind of fun. It's a. Uh, okay. Sorry, did you see me around the table? Okay. How long have you been out on the market? So we launched at Maker Fair in May. Okay. And we were swarmed with a, kids. Yeah, it's just a okay. fun, but also learning. It was so gratifying to have kids. It's a robot just like so structure with it. Here, the sensors are on the back side. So, yeah. Delivered yeah. all summer, and now we're taking pictures again. So, what's the price you point for? This side, that one's kind of closer to that side. That one's good. Okay. okay. That's high, you know, but um, we're not, not making as high as Lego. Hey, thank you stuff. very much. All right. And Matthew could give you an Is there awesome a curriculum for this? And we need help. Yeah, we know we should. We have little bits of curriculum. We okay. have lots of friends in education, but we're like we're building robots. I know. It's hard to do both. We're working to build robots as fast yes. as we can. Great. So she actually teaches robotics, so oh, knows what's going on. Give her uh, the cool little one-minute demo, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So as you can see, we have lots of different cubes, and yes. cubes do lots of different things. Um, all the black cubes that you see are the inputs, so they'll sense distance or the amount of light in the room or temperature. And then all the clear ones are the outputs. Uh, we've got flashlights, speakers, uh, wheels that drive. And so by putting them together in different ways, your robot can do different things. Oh, I see. These are the wheels here. Yeah, those are the wheels here. So your basic robot needs at least three cubes. Um, Power, every robot needs power. You need an input of some kind. I've got a distance sensor here. And then you need output. Uh, I've got a drive with the wheels. Um, so as my hand gets closer to the distance sensor, it outputs a larger value. The drive log is listening for that value, and it spins the wheels at a corresponding rate. So as my hand gets closer to the distance sensor, the drive cube goes a little faster. Now, is this programmable? Do we have to also hook it up like we do with the uh, robotics, the Legos? Um, right now, um, all the programming, each cube is programmed as it comes out of the box. Perfect. So you turn it on, and you put them together, and that's really the programming, is how you arrange your cubes. Right. Um, and then you can keep adding to it. You can add complexity. So so you can add a flashlight um, that'll light up as it as it drives down, or you can add another sensor, a brightness sensor. So now it's uh, looking at the amount of light in the room and from the distance sensor as it goes. Um, so you can keep building. Can and then, you um, can you program them to do a path? Um, that's one thing that we've been working on. We okay. have a Bluetooth cube. Um, in our in our lab that we're working on that we're really excited to get out there okay. and that allows you to um, get in and actually program the cubes on your own um, excellent and then as you go so you can get uh, larger and larger constructions so here's my favorite robot um, it's got the uh, two dis a distance sensor like we had before and two drive cubes. And in between I have a blocker. This allows power to go from one side to the other, but stops data from traveling from one side to the other. You said it stops data? Yeah, so it, these two sides are acting independently of one another. And now as I get to one side, if I approach the right side more, then that activates that drive cube. If I come to the other side, so now I have a robot that I can steer around the around and, the table. Uh, you can have various other blocks. This is a drive block that you can add. And then we can drive add different cubes so, as we go. We can add a uh, flashlight on. See it driving. And uh, you can make it so that down. you can pick up slow cubes as you go. Right. So uh, if you can drive and get it to go, so I, yeah, there, and you pick between. up a 
another flashlight. What is the tan cube? A tan cube, this guy is a minimum cube. So it takes multiple different inputs um, from different places. Uh, let's see if I can get a bar graph here. Um, so it, it listens to both of these sensors, and whichever one has the smaller value, it's going to output to the bar graph. So right now the knob is the smaller value, and it'll go up until it reaches the level of the brightness sensor, and then it'll now it's listening to the brightness sensor because it's the smaller value. If I take more light away, it's going to take it away from there, and it'll stay about there as I turn the knob down until it gets to that point, and then the knob is the smaller value, so it takes over. Um, so you can start to do logic functions with that. This is so much uh, easier than all those little pieces. Of, yeah, and you just program it by putting it together in different ways and thinking about which inputs are affecting which outputs and which uh, think cubes they're going through. You have like a kit, but then you have a standard kit that you offer for a we, we have a couple of kits right now. We have a standard uh, six block kit um, that's kind of just a starter kit and then you can buy individual cubes uh, to go whichever direction you want to from there. Um, or we have a 20 cube kit um, that comes with a combination of all the cubes that we have. Is it back to ask how much a 20, 20 cube kit costs? Uh, the 20 cube kit right now is $520. Um, the 6 cube kit uh, is 160 and then individual cubes are 20 to 30 depending on the complexity of the kit.